episode two. This round, we're going to talk a lot more about your rigging, your sail controls, and your form. These are really good tricks to help you have success in your practices and regattas. Make sure you watch closely, there's a quiz at the end of the video. Let's start by what you're going to do in the boatyard. Make sure there's no water in your flotation tank. Reach in there and peel for any moisture. Remember, minimum weight for a sabot is 95 pounds. You're going to want to try to get your boat as light as possible. Put your mast can in and get it set up for the wind you're going to be sailing in that day. To check your mast rig, you can hook your owl haul up and see how high your boom is. If you saw your boom this high, you know your mast is too far forward. And if you saw that your boom was really low, your mast might be too far back. This boom height here would be a great all around light to medium setting. Make sure you have an easily adjustable traveler. This is a great setup here. It's a pretty cool way to store your paddle and your baler and always bring a sponge with you. Once you've left the dock, time to get your boat dialed in. Get your leeboard in the right spot. A mark really helps. Watch for it to be too far back or too far forward. In light to medium air, you're looking to angle it slightly forward. Get a permanent pen and mark that position. Get the boat on the wind and start thinking about your form. Make sure your weight's all the way forward so you're not dragging the stern. Avoid leaning forward and resting your elbow on the bench. While going upwind, double check your mast rig. Trim in all the way and see how high your boom is. You can tell this mast rig is really far forward by the height of the boom. With your sail trimmed in all the way, you'd want to see your boom about this height. Place your hand on top of the boom near your wrist and extend your fingers out. Your fingertips should just touch the foot of your sail. If you place your hand up there and your fingertips don't touch the sail, you know you need to bring your alcohol in. And if you can't fit your hand in there, you know your alcohol is too tight. Good for windy days though. Most of the time you're going to set your traveler in the light to medium position, halfway between the rudder and the corner of the boat. This angle will trim let you get your leech tight in those puffs, but not too center line. Try not to bring your traveler too far up. It forces you to trim the boom to center line. You'll be in point mode all the time with no boat speed. On rare occasions you're going to be dropping your traveler all the way down. This helps you get leech tension by pulling straight down on the leech. It has to be pretty windy for this, meaning you're in the ease hike trim mode. You'll want to have your hand close to your downhaul. Notice the wrinkles that show up when you pull your sail in. Pull a little downhaul on and they'll go away. When you pull on your downhaul too much, you'll get a crease in the luff. Turn down one and check your vang trim. You'll want your leech open, but not tacoing. Pull on your vang too tight and your leech will be hooked. You want to be looking at that top bat, you want to see a little life. You want that top bat and the twist open slightly. Spend some time going dead downwind, getting a little bit of windward heel in. Pull that board up all the way and see how you feel. If the boat feels unstable, try putting your board halfway down. Be ready for those puffs by having your hand close to your vang. Puff vang on, light spot vang off. Be really careful about letting your alcohol off too far. You can see here how it makes your sail smaller. Set against your flotation tank so you don't drag your stern. Leaning forward with your elbow on the bench takes you out of the game. Your bow is too far down and you can't trim your main or your boom vang. That sponge really comes in handy to get every drop of water out. You have to avoid heeling to windward, so you're going to have to lean in some. You're not going to be able to lean your back against the rail. You're going to look something like this, even throwing a little bit of lure heel in. 
use your preventers if you got them. They help keep your boom out to 90. When you're on starboard ley line and close to the weather mark, you're going to want to think about downwind. This is the time to ease your downhaul, boom bang, and your outhaul just a little bit. When you round the mark, you'll be ready for downwind. Time to get ready for the lured mark rounding. Make sure you get that board down first. Line yourself up for a wide and tight turn. Once you've got your sail all the way in, it's time for your downhaul and your boom bang. Taking the mark a little wide lets you turn the boat up without stalling out. And you can exit close to the mark. Approach the lured mark too tight and expect to end up wide, spinning the boat out, losing a lot of your boat speed. 